Dogs Day Kill is a batshit insane black comedy crime romance about uh, a guy who's not that bright, who's surrounded by very, very smart, very, very strong women who convince him to do things that are maybe not in his best interest. And what attracted you to the project? Was it perhaps the female perspective? I love the female perspective, but really it came down to my friend Trent Haga, the writer-director, uh, who said, I want to make a movie, and it could have been anything, and I would have said yes. The fact that it ended up being a movie that uh, was fun and funny and sort of had had something to say about it, the sort of you know, gender shift that's happening right now, the power dynamics between men and women, like all that stuff was just icing on the cake. Yeah, I was going to say, do you think it's quite topical nowadays, especially with everything that's going on? Yeah, yeah, 100%, I think. I think uh, Trent thinks... Trent's less concerned with that. What he wants to do is just tell a story about people. And he's like, it doesn't matter what gender you are. You're, if you're a good person or a bad person, you know, you, you're capable of whatever. But for me, it was, a, you know, it was more interesting. This is the time we're living in. And I think every movie you, you, you make should reflect sort of what's going on. So. You've obviously worked on some of the biggest and most popular genre films out nowadays. So what, so what, attra what attracts you to each of these projects? Uh, just brilliant filmmakers. And, and, you know, there's either some sort of per personal connection to what they're trying to say with the movie or some sort of greater cultural relevance to what the movie's trying to say. And that's pretty much the guiding factor. Do you ever think you might make one yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Maybe I'll make one this year. Maybe I'll make one in the fall. Who knows? What's the best film outside of the ones that you've produced that you've seen in the last, say, five years? Oh. Oh, that is such an unfair question. I mean, give me a few. Uh, uh, last five years is tough. Um, I really enjoyed Baskin. Really loved the Invitation. Uh, the Witch just blew my mind. It follows. I was really into. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, Bad Batch. I thought was. I mean, I guess not really a horror film, but. Um, yeah, you think Bad Batch? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, those were the ones that came immediately. So I'm sure there's more. I mean, it's sort of like saying, what was your favorite meal in the last five years? Like, we eat a lot of food, you know? I know, it's an exciting time for horror, though, you know, with all this talk of prestige horror and art horror. I mean, it's a really, it's obviously a very kind of difficult time. Um, what's up next for you? Uh, what are we doing? We uh, are doing a remake of the Polish film Demon that... Uh, Wait, actually, I can't say that. Oh. Actually, yeah, that did. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, what do we have? Ted Gagan's Mohawk. Uh, Ted did We Are Still Here. Uh, so that's out on the festival circuit now. And uh, the rest are super secret. Well, thank you so much for your time. And enjoy yourself. Thank you. Can't wait to see the movie.